Rather than going into October with the usual October cool weather, we're looking at summer conditions for yet another day in a row. Highs today managed to make it into the mid 80s. That's a good 16 degrees above average. Not record breaking though. We fell short of a record by a good six degrees. However, it definitely felt a lot more like mid July rather than very late September. Again, our average high temperatures is usually around 70. Uh, we were uh, with the humidity feeling a lot warmer than that near 90 at times with the heat index. Also, as we wrap up this month, it was the Sixth wettest on record. Uh, 9.1 inches of rain fell this month, nearly six inches above average. And as a result of the very warm weather that moved in recently, we're still pretty stuffy right now, middle to upper 70s currently, where usually our lows are well down into the 50s around this time of year. We'll stay in the 70s tonight, so not dropping off much. Uh, may even want to turn the air conditioning on for a little while as a result of the cool air as or the very warm air staying in place, as well as that high humidity for the night, or at least keep the windows closed. Uh, we'll see an increase in cloud cover ahead of possibly some rainfall coming into tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Here's satellite and radar. We're well behind this powerful warm front. Uh, we have a lot of humidity streaming into the region, and there are some scattered showers and storms developing uh, across Iowa and Minnesota and into Wisconsin as a result of much cooler air just around the corner. Now, as that slides through, it's going to do so slowly, and there's a lot of humidity to work with. That is a great recipe for heavy rainfall and flash flooding. As we look at our flash flood risks, they primarily will be centered into central to southern Wisconsin. We're on the fringes of this just a slight risk for flash flooding going into tomorrow night. Uh, so we still have about 24 hours to go before we see that risk materialize, but we definitely want you to make you aware of that going into Tuesday night. There's also a slight risk for strong to severe storms tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening, mainly for strong to damaging winds across the state line. So as that front approaches us, we could see some strong activity. Here's future track. We'll start off uh, tomorrow morning with some rain showers and storms moving into southern Wisconsin. Later on in the morning, we may have a couple of these scattered showers and thunderstorms approach our area. You can see they'll be just along the Wisconsin Illinois state line, primarily in southern Wisconsin. But throughout the afternoon, definitely keep an eye on that 13 Weather Authority app. You can track the storms there as they start to approach our area tomorrow evening. It could be a little active as we do have the showers and storms fully moving into the state line by that point. We'll then have on and off for our rainfall through about 830. And then beyond 830 is when we have to start watching out for heavy rainfall and strong Stronger storms. You can see that the evening to overnight hours uh, with a couple rounds of heavier rainfall and stronger winds moving on through. That really doesn't let up overnight, which is why we're looking at the potential for heavy rainfall and flash flooding because we just don't see much time to dry out before the next round of rain heavy or heavy rainfall moves in. You can see by early Wednesday morning we should be drying out. Remainder of Wednesday looks to be dry after that. Uh, so there is a flash flood watch out for Joe Davies and Stevenson counties around Freeport for the possibility of multiple rounds of heavy rain that could cause some flash flooding. Uh, that'll be in effect tomorrow evening into Wednesday morning. Uh, not a guarantee here, but you can see the potential for this rain where some spots could see up to five inches of rain into central Wisconsin. I don't think we'll see three to four locally, maybe more like one to two, but it could come down in a hurry, uh, resulting in some pretty hefty rain totals. So that's that again, potential there for some heavier rain into tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. Temperature wise, another day in the 80s with all of that scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. Then once that cold front moves through by Wednesday morning, we are dropping a lot. We'll have some regular lighter rain showers. So Wednesday morning dropping back down into the 60s and into Thursday could see more rounds early of rainfall early on in the morning as temperatures stay in the 60s. We may be barely out of the 50s late this week could be into the 50s for highs by early next week. James Alex, thanks. It's still to come.